What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. So, uh, you know, somebody this morning said in my live stream, she said, she said, man, Chad, you know, I like coming and watching your videos from time to time. I may be out living a little bit, but she's like, uh, she's like, but man, all this complaining you do in your videos, I'm just about fed up with it now, boy. You know, so I thought about it, I said, man, we gotta do something kind of positive. And I said at the end of the video the other day, I said, man, we gonna do something positive here in um, Christmas time. Well, lo and behold, your boy Chad sold a car just a few minutes ago. I did, man, I got the attitude right. I went outside, some customers pulled in. I went out there, I went and talked with them and I ended up finding out what their needs were, what, what the situation was. They needed a vehicle for one of their family members. And uh, they came inside and they bought a car. How about it? And actually the car they bought, it's not even a car that I've ever even reviewed or even taken the time to take pictures of or anything. So with that being said, I sold a car and uh, Mike Tyson in there, Mike Tyson comes up to me a minute ago. He says, Chad, in celebration for your car sale today, since you haven't sold a car in quite some time, lunch is on me today. So, <laughs> Mike Tyson, I want some Chinese food. Let's go get it. Alright man, I love me some Chinese food. You know, the last time I really had some Chinese food I enjoyed, if some of y'all remember, uh, somebody was on the internet live streaming while I was eating my Chinese food and they upset me and I started yelling and screaming and shouting. I said, this man is making my lunch turn into a horrible lunch today. <laughs> right? So anyways, let's order some Chinese food. Man, I'm seeing what I want, man. Lunch is on Mr. Mike Tyson today. We gotta get something good, don't we? Hello there. Yes, how about you today? Good. I'd like to order some Chinese for pickup. Okay, go ahead, please. Um, a, uh, do you have a lunch combination special? Yes. Uh, do you have um, a sweet and sour chicken combination? Yes. Or not not sweet and a sesame seed chicken combination. Okay, sesame seed chicken lunch is special. You want a choice egg roll or iced tea for come with that? Um, egg roll and add an iced tea. And, and iced tea, okay. Anything else? That's it. Okay, 8.77, about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, are y'all y'all just down the street by Food Lion? Yes, by the Food Lion Avenue. Cool, thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Right. Let's go. All right, everybody, let's, um, let's go down and pick up some Chinese food real quick. Thanks to our friend Mike Tyson inside. But while we do it, we're actually gonna be driving in the Suzuki Areola or Ariel or Ariel, something like that. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce the name on this car, but it is a Suzuki. And it's a area Ariel Ariel all-wheel drive. You know, believe it or not, I never took any time to film this car, review this car, or anything. And after I got to looking at it today with the customer and going and zipping down the road with them and I was like, wow, this is actually a great running little car. So uh, let me show y'all this because this is probably a vehicle that you probably have never seen yourself. Stay with us. So this little Suzuki is a, actually a 2006 and it is a small car. It's not very big, but it's four doors. It's got brand new tires all the way around. Um, it's silver, as you can tell. And it kind of has a sporty look about it, doesn't it? You know, Suzuki is usually known for their motorcycles. So if they had a car, it definitely would have to look sporty, right? But it's got like the little lip kit on the bottom. Um, tiny little rims, okay? I mean, very little. I don't know if these are 12 inch or 14 inch, but they're actually uh, 14. You got a 185, 65, 14 inch rim. Brand spanking new tires though, and uh, the price on the window is great at $22.50. Uh, customer paid $22.50 for the car, um, out the door, including tax, tags, and fees. I mean, what a deal! 
not bad for two grand. They're buying it for their granddaughter, and uh, I think they're going to be really happy with it. But it is kind of cute, you know? And it's a fuel-saving type car, but the thing that I thought was kind of interesting is it's all-wheel drive. I thought that was really kind of interesting. Just You don't see a whole lot of little tiny compact cars like this with all-wheel drive. Um, I don't know what the purpose is of the zip tie in there, but we're going to check it out and see what's going on with that. It's got power windows, power mirrors, it's got black cloth seats, automatic transmission. I mean, it's got a little bit of room. I'm kind of liking it though. Silver on the inside with the black. Uh, the mileage is actually pretty good on the car. Let's go ahead and crank her up. Look at that little thing. Cranked right up. Got 143,000 miles on it. Check it out right there. Okay, so I mean, a lot of the cars on the lot out here are well over 150,000 miles. Some of them are 200 plus thousand miles. And this little Suzuki is 143,000 miles. The radio works, the AC works. I mean, not a bad little car. Even got the books and the manuals to the car. I got two keys, a remote. I mean, it's getting better and better as it goes. Let's go ahead and pull out of here and let me get my seatbelt on and let's zip down the road and see how this little car rides. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and put it in reverse. You know, it's actually, it's pretty quiet on the inside. Not a very loud motor. Um, I mean, it's idling good. I'm really kind of interested in this. Little all-wheel drive Suzuki. And, uh, Again, it's just one of those cars you just don't, you kind of overlook it when you're car shopping or even looking on the internet, right? You know, it's just, I haven't had a whole lot of activity on this vehicle. And uh, again, the lady today, her and her husband traveled from out of town to come see it. And she's like, looking for a car for my granddaughter. You know, I want a four-door vehicle, automatic, a little bit lower mileage, she said, and I need to be under 3,000 bucks. So I automatically went down my list and uh, I said, hold on, let's go take a look at this little Suzuki over here. And uh, there you go. I mean, I got the key. Her husband said, can we drive it? I was like, sure, you can drive it. And uh, before you know it, he made an offer outside. We walked back in and we signed up a deal. So I'm learning as a used car salesman Again, I've always worked pretty much in the new car industry, but I'm learning don't pass up on a car on maybe marketing it or trying to advertise it or something like that because there's an ass for every seat. You know, that's an old saying they use in the car business, you know? Mm -hmm. Every person, there's, a, there's an ass for every seat, for every type of car, there's somebody that would possibly uh, buy it and drive it. And um, just because maybe I don't like it or think it's a good car or this, that, and the other, doesn't mean that's the truth, you know? So, you know, I looked at the car before, I knew we had it, and I'm like, ah, it's just a small little tiny car, you know? But somebody's actually interested in buying it, and it's actually seeming to be a pretty decent small car. So anyways, thanks to our friend Mike Tyson at Auto Buy Center for buying me lunch today for selling this car. Um, I don't know what to say, but thank you, man. Um, thank you for the lunch. You know, just buy me some lunch. That's really nice of him. He handed me 10 bucks. He said, go buy yourself some lunch today, Chad. Congratulations on selling a car. <laughs> so, anyways, I told him thank you, and uh, that's what we're doing. I'm heading over here to the Chinese restaurant. I'm going to grab some Chinese, as we ordered earlier, and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see how the Chinese is out here in the country. Haven't ever eaten Chinese from the Chinese place out here before. So, um... You know, most Chinese places, the food's all about the same. Some of them can kind of blow you away and you're like, man, that was good. In some places, not so much. But anyways, let's pull in. So we're at Lamb's Garden. And uh, look at this little car in the mirror out here. I mean, it just, it's a cute little car. Look at it. Cute little car. And uh, look at this. They're definitely got some businesses out here that are for rent right now. They're trying to rent this space out. And uh, somebody could have a good little business right in here. 
Anyways, let's go ahead and get our food. Hell, maybe we can sit inside and eat. But um, we'll be back. We'll drive it back down, and uh, we're going to move on with our day. I got a lot of things to talk about on today's vlog, so stay with us. All right, man. Lunch was pretty good. Um, I haven't, literally, guys, I have not eaten Chinese food. Oh, gosh, it's been months, maybe? Months. I mean, that's it's been a while. I, I, I don't even remember the last time I've had... Chinese food okay so it's been quite some time I think the last time I got Chinese food was probably six months ago it's been quite some time and um, so thank you to Mike Tyson for getting me some lunch wow that was really nice nice of him kind of blew me away and uh, anyways uh, you know it's just a little things like that sometimes man just buying somebody lunch sometimes can you know make a difference and um uh, oh man i'll sell a car every day if mr mike tyson buys me lunch every day <laughs> but um but with that being said you know you gotta remember folks um to help each other work together as a team and uh i'm learning this teamwork thing a lot more right now so uh, i think i'm learning the teamwork thing a lot more now than i ever have uh, you know, again, just I'm telling you guys, if you're if you're watching this video right now and you're on the YouTube channel here and you're working in a car business, and uh, maybe you were like myself, been working for new car stores forever, or maybe maybe you uh, maybe you're tired of working where you're working at now, and maybe you want to try to get in sales, right? Um, the used car business, I would suggest it. You know, get out there and try it out because. You, uh, you'll definitely learn a lot more about the car business and how to sell cars, selling used cars. So, I put a post on my uh, face, on my Charleston car videos um, community uh, thing there earlier, talking about that. How, how really, it takes more talent and more skills in selling used cars than it does new cars really does um, because a new car is easy to sell you know usually the customer already knows they want to buy the car it's brand spanking new I mean yeah maybe you gotta teach them about the car and show them how to hook up the Bluetooth cell phone or whatever but but the actual sales part of it with a new car is definitely a lot easier to do than selling a used car for sure used car definitely got a lot more um, just a lot more you got to go through to be able to sell one you know you got to be able to uh, you know build the value in the car I mean there's just so many different factors involved in selling a used car that could possibly stop you from selling one and uh, so the new car definitely a lot easier if you can get the numbers right and a lot of times on the new cars you know the, the uh, the the price of the car is pretty much what it is and uh, and sometimes there's no negotiating at all I mean the price of the new car is the price of what it is and it's just plain and simple and of course there's negotiating involved sometimes on new cars as well but the sales side of it selling the actual product is definitely a lot easier <laughs> alright everybody well, we're back with the little Suzuki it's gonna be uh, be gone tomorrow she's coming back tomorrow to pick it up so I'm gonna park it behind the store and uh, We'll see you back on the next clip.